the video stop now. Hello guys, it's Nick from Let's Chat. And in this video today, I'm going to review my semi-final hoodie tips. And I'm also going to do my preliminary final tips as well. So let's get into it. So first of all, I'm going to review my semi-final hoodie tips. The first game was between Melbourne and Carlton, and oh boy, what a game that was. And I tipped my Mighty Blues to win, and Blake Akers, again, was the hero. Yes! Come on, Blues! Let's fucking go! And the next game was Port Adelaide versus GWS. And I tipped GWS as well, and they also won. So I got two out of two this week. They were both upsets by surprise. So both Carlton and GWS march on to the preliminary finals. All right. So the first match of the week is going to be between Collingwood and GWS on the Friday night at the MCG. Collingwood. They are coming off a seven point win over Melbourne. That they're no longer in the competition for the year now because they got knocked out in straight sets for the second year in a row, Melbourne. And Collingwood were too good and they won in a, a gutsy seven point game in the qualifying final. I was at that game, obviously. I uploaded the the match day vlog the other day, so go check that out. Um, and GWS, well, they had a um, famous win over Port Adelaide. Toby Green was good, and Jesse Hogan was awesome. He kicked four goals, four behinds. He could have really kicked eight goals. Imagine that if he was kicking straight. They missed some gettable shots, but didn't really affect the Giants in the end. Port Adelaide were just sloppy. They're normally terrible at in finals. Um, sorry if you're watching this, Zay Burnell. I know you love your Port Adelaide football club, but they were shit on the weekend. You've got to admit that. So I'm feeling GWS, like they did in 2019, in the preliminary final, I'm going to go for a repeat, and I'm going to tip GWS in an upset here by six points. I just don't think Collingwood will get to the big dance again. I know, because I don't think Nick Dacos will be at his best because he's just coming back from injury this week and and I heard that Taylor Adams um, is no guarantee of playing either. So the other match of the week is between Brisbane and Carlton at the Gabba. On the Saturday afternoon, or should I say Saturday evening, whatever you want to call it. It's a twilight game. It's on it at a stupid time at 5.15pm, but it is what it is. Luckily, I'll be home for it, so that works out for me well. Brisbane, they had a um, big win over Port Adelaide in the qualifying final at the Gabba. With Joe Danaher kicking five goals, he was inspirational for him. And in the semi-final between Melbourne and Carlton, well, Carlton, well, they, again, won another close game, and Blake Akers, in the last minute of the game, being the hero once again. He's been doing it a few times this year. He's done it, like, three times this year now, you know, either sealing the game for the Blues or kicking the match-winning goal in the final stages of games. He's been a really good pick-up from Fremantle. Sorry to all Fremantle fans. Previously with the St Kilda Saints, previously with the Fremantle Dockers, now the Carlton Blues. That's what Jason Collectibles would say. But anyways, Sam Walsh was inspirational as well. You know, he's been one of the players for the final series so far. He's had 34 touches and two goals in that game as well. Nick Newman's been good. Um, Jacob Weering was good. There were some other good players as well. Cripps had an impact as well. Tom DeConing was good. 
Yeah, I'm going to go another upset here, and I'm going to go Carlton to win by five points. So there you go, guys. There are my tips. I'm tipping GWS and Carlton. So hope you all enjoy this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Catch you guys.